Hey guys, this is Steve from RestoPress. So as you know, RestoPress is a food ordering system for WordPress. So today we are going to walk you through the installation of RestoPress and setting up the basic options and add your first product to your RestoPress powered food ordering system. So let's get started. So one of the first thing you need to do is like you need to go to plugins, add new and add the RestoPress plugin if, uh, if you haven't already installed so you can just type RestoPress here so once you get RestoPress you get the option to install so I have this activate here because <coughs> I have uh, already installed so I'm going to activate it so once activated we will see RestoPress here and once you see this one of the first thing you need to do is go to the settings to set up your store timings and the type of options you will be providing for the customers so will it be like a pickup or a delivery or both whatever you want to do so by default when you install uh, this uh, these are the default settings you have here so one of the first thing I will be doing is like the service options so here you see choose services so both pickup and delivery that is what I'm going to do and store time format so this is 24 hours or 12 hours I'll be using the 12 hours so I'm keeping it that one so then the time open time and the close time so this is when your store opens and closes so I'll leave it as default this is cooking time so the cooking time is like how much time you need to prepare the food ordered by the customer so this is a t time that will block on the calendar or the drop down of the times on the front end and when they are like not accepting any orders what should be the message so this is how it's here I'm going to just save it Just done. So let's go uh, and add our first product to RestorPress. So by default, when you install RestorPress, it automatically adds the pages and everything. You don't need to do anything. Just go and add a product here. So here we call it a food item. So let's uh, add some item here. So I'll be going to my site and just grab one of the items from the menu which we had in the website so I'm going to menu I'll just copy one of the items from the privileges menu yeah okay let's start with the digits so this is the category of the product this is the name these are the variants available and this is the price so this is the menu you will be having so I'll go ahead and put this in RestoPress the first one is the name so I'm going to put here then I can type some uh, text here so whatever you want to uh, display after the name of the food item so I'll be keeping it blank for now let's do again uh, actually I can use this as the description here and then we have digits as the category so as you can see we have add-on category and food category food category is the main category and add-on category is the category that is actually used for the food item options I'll be covering that in a few so let's just add the digits as the category of this food item. That's done. So now add on category. So as you can see, we have three variants here: vanilla, strawberry, chocolate. So what I'm going to do, we just need to first name uh, the variants. What is the type? So I'll type like uh choose your variant 
okay that's the main uh, category under this i'll be adding uh, vanilla strawberry and chocolate so vanilla let's go as a child of the variant so this is a child of that one strawberry uh, strawberry will be the child of the same parent and chocolate will be the child of the same parent <coughs> so once that done you you have your first product on your store the only thing you need to do now is add rice so as you see we have a rice of dollar nine i'll just use that so everything should be done now i'll publish this so once that's published you just need to go to the page which is created from rest of press and that's like a food item page you can see here food items just click on view here <coughs> So by default, uh, it gives you the page with a sidebar here. So I'll suggest you go with a full width template. So first of the thing, uh, what I will do is like remove this sidebar from here. So I'll choose a full width template. So whatever theme you are using, you should have an option for full width. If you don't have one, you need to create a full width template to make your food items page look better okay so now the sidebar is removed this is our first product this is the category and we have this category on the side and as well as in the main column so now let's click on add <coughs> so you get the options vanilla strawberry or chocolate but it allows you to choose every everyone so if you want like to allow the users to only choose one you can also do that what you can do here is like go to the rest to press then here you can go to the add-on category under add-on category you can choose your variant go to choose your variant select the type to be single item and that's done so now if you click on add you still get to select only one so i'll go ahead with vanilla and add to cart so that's added and this uh, delivery time is what we chose on the front first page so this is how it looks pick up our delivery then you get to choose the time What's the time we are uh, available time so by default it gives you a slot of 30 minutes page and uh, this times actually depends on the your store uh, timing setup so also like uh, if you have this uh, here let's go to here under settings you can set up your time zone so if you go to settings general you'll see your time zone here so make sure you're setting up your time zone correctly based on that it will display that time here if you have wrong time zone set up there so it might give the user a time which is not actually available for your the region or the country so this is how it's here i'll go ahead to check out <coughs> so again uh, this checkout page is not full width we can go ahead and make it a full width page to make it look better just if uh, you want to look it better so this is uh, one error you are getting here you must enable payment gateway to raise uh, use restopress so we can go ahead to restopress settings and here we have payment gateways so by default RestoPress comes with PayPal, Test Payment Gateway, Cash on Delivery and Amazon. 
so i'll go ahead uh, enable the test mode and the test payment gateway for now so i shouldn't see that error anymore and i'll be able to check out now so i'll just type and play this order So that should wait. Let's place this order. So once the order is placed, it will go to a page where the users can see the details of their order. So that's basically how uh, you can set up register press and food items. And the default payment gateway for like uh, this is the payment method, the test payment method that is why it says pre purchase. So, this, uh, basically, that's how it works. If you have any queries, you can go to our website, restopress.com, and talk to us on the live chat. So, thank you for watching this video.